Hey, it's Pritzar, and today we're going to look at a Lego train set. This is one of the coolest Lego train sets um, ever made, and the reason is, is because it was designed by Lego train lovers. Um, this is the factory set, set 10183. I'll show you the box. It says, designed by Lego fans. 1,080 pieces. You got the primary model that you get the printed instructions for, and then there were, I think, a total of 30 um, other designs that fans had designed, and they were available for a while on the website, the Lego Factory. Uh, Lego Factory, you could go in there and make your own models and uh, have Lego ship the pieces to you, uh, but they've taken that site down. This set came out in, I want to say, 2000. 2007 so it's been a while and so the site has been discontinued it was a good idea but apparently it was not um, the cost of running it just wasn't effective for Lego so they that's what I'm I'm assuming um, so they uh, they don't do it anymore but this was a good set it was designed by fans like I said and these, it had all these different models. Now, of course, you're limited. You just had red and black and white colors. Uh, but here's the list of the fans that designed it. James Mathis, who designed the uh, Santa Fe trains. Uh, these are the ones that I know. And then um, Reinhard Ben. Uh, I can never remember how to say his name. He lives in Germany. I'll talk about him in just a minute. But... Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. But uh, this is the main model. It's kind of a crocodile type engine. I'm not sure what you would call it. It's a really long locomotive with a lot of wheels. Yeah. Now there are no tracks and no uh, motor or transformer in the set. So the track you see is just the track I've set up. And right now this thing is just set up as a push train. But it looks really cool. We'll get some close-ups of it. This thing comes in three sections. It's got the plus sign. I wonder if this is from Switzerland. Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't know what the mail thing is on the side here for, but I think this is where the powered units would be. Here's where the uh, engineers sit. And this is electric. That's the... Um, pentagraphs there so it's a neat little model and it takes the I think it's both of these manuals it took you both of the manuals to build that yeah yeah so it took two full manuals uh, to build it but that's a lot of wheels isn't it I just I just love it this is longer I believe than the crocodile locomotive which was set 4551 but this is just one of the models. Now I'll show you this um, before we convert it to a one that you can run. You get you get all these base plates or um, train bases, I should say, not base plates, train bases. These are all extra. There's three more: two uh, dark bluish gray and one black. This was in the dark bluish gray, black bluish gray era. It was after 2004. And then look at all these extra pieces. So, 1,080 pieces to build any of 30 different models. And then we saw a few on the box. And then you get this little poster that comes with it. And this shows you even more. And we can still build these. Uh, thankfully, some fans have saved these PDF files of these instructions. Uh, Lego had them on their website. They've taken it down. But there is some on, um, uh, I'll put a link in the description. There's somebody saved all 30 of the uh, PDFs. And I, I thought about maybe building one of these. I like that one. Almost looks like a Fairbanks Morse type locomotive. I don't know. Or is it a GP38? I, I don't know locomotives well. I have to ask my father-in-law. He knows. But these are 
that's American, that one's American. That's an American style locomotive. That's a little switcher. There's a caboose. And then got more over here on this side. You can you can't build I don't know how many you can build at once. There's probably not there might be a couple in, in here that you could build more than one like that one's so small you might could build another model with it but you basically got to build something and then take it apart and build something else all right now i'll show you the back it tells you about the factory the train community i wish i was as creative as some of these guys but here is they talked about the development process but i just want to show you this uh, not I'm not going to show you every detail about the, um, the train, but that's Ben. And he's one of the ones that, when I first got on the internet in the 90s, uh, I discovered him. And it wasn't long after that he had a website where he had pictures that he had taken of all the trains. Lego trains that were made and I think at some point in his life he has owned all of them uh, up until a certain point I mean he had all the ones from the 60s he had all the ones from the 70s and then when the 80s version he had all of those uh, he would do things with uh, having long trains how long uh, you can make a train how much could one locomotive pull uh, he had tons of pictures and that's that was my resource uh, for knowing what trains were out there and so it was once I've discovered his website I was going and looking on eBay I joined eBay after that so I knew about uh, I said I just you know if I want to know which trains were out there I went and looked at his page first and he had a lot of cool mocks too that he made uh, that were better pretty much than anything that Lego had put out but um he still got a um a YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his channel. I don't know why he doesn't do more. He's probably busy, um, but um, he's a really creative guy. And, um, it's, there's two people. It was him and another guy named Matt Childs, who was out on the west coast of the United States at the time. It's the ones that kind of, when I first discovered the internet, has kind of influenced me uh, a lot. And, I'm giving them a shout out and they don't know it, but um, yeah, Matt Childs is the one that made the roller coaster, but I'm getting off topic. <laughs> so Ben had a lot to do with the design of these models as well as these other guys. And uh, shout out to all of them if I could, you know, there's just super cool guys. And I've never been to any of the um, brick shows like um, Brick Fair. This I'll be going to my first one, so I'm sure people that are in the lego community know some of these guys but this is a really good set so what i'm going to do now is take the power front not the power functions the um, nine volt train motor set 10153 and convert it all right according to the instructions this is about a three-step process let's say we got to take the middle thing off i don't think that part was supposed to come off yeah i need to put that back on that wasn't supposed to come off Take this off. Okay. Motor. this on here. How's that supposed to connect? Oh, I need a, I need a one by two. I did not show that on there. Uh oh. Yeah, that one don't touch.
There we go. Now we have converted it. Turn it this way. It's not as symmetrical as I thought. You can tell by the under part of it. All right. All right, it's working. Make this thing a little shaky for you. So I got the transformer hooked up to the track and I've added the motor set 10153 to set 10183. Now we'll see if it'll go. I need to fix those pantographs. You know, those pantographs, they got little um, uh, droid torsos there to hold them. Picking up electricity from the invisible wires in the air. So there you have it, that's the main model for set 10183 and like I said before I'll put a link in the description to the uh, website you can go to to find the PDFs if you happen to have this set. Uh, this is a bit hard one to get I think, um, but even if you don't have this set you can look at the PDFs of the other ones and some of them, uh, they use pretty generic pieces in some cases, not all of them. So you can. Uh, see some locomotives or train cars that you might want to build. So this is one of my favorite train sets because it was designed by some really cool people, some Lego fans, and they did a really good job with this. So there it is, set 10183. It is the factory build your way train. Thanks for watching. This is Brickzard.